15. Barnet 2, Woking 0. You're making a bit of a brilliant job of this season, I must say. What are your thoughts on that performance? We felt it was going to be a tough game. You know, we know how Saudi teams play. They come up and they get after you. They play the flat 4-4-2 and the front two were a handful. They had Coxie with me before and we obviously know Padre Gammon's season. So we had to stop the supply to them. And uh, it took a little bit of time for us to really get into our fluency and really get into what we wanted. Um, we scored at a great time. We felt the first goal was going to be massive today. We managed to get it. So, And then we defended bravely. Uh, at 1-0 up and then the same again at 2-0 up. So great to score at McCorner, something we've walked on. So it's the first time we've scored my restart this season. So I'm really happy. Looking very smart on the sidelines there in a, a black uh, cardigan type thing. But it was anything but smart on the pitch at times. It was a very tense affair, a little bit of a, a nasty tackle here. And then was that expected today? Yeah, they a tough, hard, you know, that's the way Sally's teams are. Like I say, they come after you, they're physical with you. We had to match that minimum. And I felt that we outran him. Ryan scored his goal from running on in midfield. Um, great play from Efron. Good little ball in down the side. The first goal from uh, from Pritchard. Something we walked on as well. So, you know, Ryan. Ryan's been outstanding for us. There's so many top performances today. Everyone stepped up to the plate, and uh, that's what we're going to need on, in every game we play in this division. Uh, we rolled our luck a little bit at times. You have to earn your luck in life, and I felt we did that. 100%. And obviously, clean sheet today, which is something I know you've been screaming out for. How important is that for you? And how are you looking to, to improve on that next week? Yeah, um, I thought we defended. We walked a lot on Friday defensively. Um, and we walked a lot on how we can sort of turn their centre half. So, And that's how we sort of managed to get our goal, to be fair, to us, our fourth goal. Um, we just wanted more more solid. We've been tuning up in every game. Uh, away at Gateshead, we sort of didn't deserve to be tuning up. But we were through our grit and determination and our quality. And uh, we just spoke about, obviously, Stopping giving away chances, we gave away too many chances against the Oval the other night. I don't think they gave away a lot of chances. So they did a free header from a corner. The lad in probably should have scored. They hit the post with a deflection. I think they hit the post twice actually, sort of from distance. So we've just walked on sort of, you know, shutting space down in behind us as well and getting our timings right of when we recover our back four. So um, all in all, like, what we've walked on this week has uh, come to fruition today. As we mentioned and we touched on just a second ago, uh, Winter with a great uh, header signing this summer. What are your opinions of him and how has he started in the last few games? Yeah, winter season, the level. He's played every minute in this division for Torquay for the last two years. So, and it was so important we recruited players that are resilient and can play football matches and they're not in the treatment room. So, that's what we look to do. Um, great to have Musa back as well. Um, Winter's a good kid, really good kid. Remember, he's only 24 wins. So we've got really, the average age of our team is 25.3, one of the youngest in the division. So. Um, we've got to enjoy days like today, it's so important and we enjoy it because it's, it's hard to win football matches in this division so we'll enjoy it and we'll move on to the next and we've got a busy busy schedule next weekend. 100%. Touching on the final few minutes of the game, uh, you were expressing your upset let's say uh, with the nine minutes added time, what did you make of that decision? It's crazy. We had a water break last week, we had a water break in the first half of Gateshead and the second half and they didn't add nine minutes. I can't believe he added nine minutes, I actually can't, and it's funny, he's got a coach, this referee, he's a young lad, he's come up, and to be fair, I thought he managed the first half really well, and I felt there was a few challenges today, that if that's in the Premier League, they're 100% red cards, you know, there was an elbow, there was one over the ball, leading leg, you know, off the floor, on Hawley, he had to come off because of it, um, there was one on Ryan de Havilland, so, look, I don't want to, you know, say about people getting sent off and all that and deflecting that, but the nine minutes are just criminal crazy. I actually thought the ref did okay apart from them big decisions. Um, look, if we had a loss, maybe I'm going to course them probably, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, look, it is what it is and we managed it well. It's another test for us, we've come through it and we move on to the next. Amazing, and finally no Tuesday night game, which I'm sure you'll be quite grateful. How are you looking uh, forward to our next fixture away at Chesterfield? Well, I'm just glad to watch Chesterfield, they're live against Notts County on BT Sport, so it's on in the office, I'll watch that game now and uh, you know, the good side, season side, Cookie's been there, done it, got the t-shirt there, manager, so great place to go. And uh, we'll see how they get on today and then see, see where it leaves them in the table as well. So, yeah, it'll be a tough game. We're looking forward to it, though. There's a lot of uh, confidence around the place, so but we've got to make sure we've got that the same mentality we've shown in the first four games. It's got to continue, so one game at a time. Enjoy the weekend and we'll go back to walk on Monday morning. Top of the league. Have a good weekend, all.